In this box I may or may not have the best CNC spindle. Let's find out. Before we test this thing, let's talk a little bit about what makes spindle good or bad. There are a few very important things to keep in mind when choosing a spindle for your DIY CNC. And the first thing is price. Personally, I think that this is the most important thing because if you can't afford a spindle, it's not really an option for you. So price is the most important, but there is also a quality. Overall build quality and the quality of the most important components such as bearings, it's very important too. Versatility, this is the option to mount a lot of different tools. For example, with the Dremel you can mount only one eighth of an inch tool and it's really handy to be able to mount bigger bits with bigger shank. And of course, it has to be powerful enough so that we can machine everything we want, wood or maybe even metals. There are also some other factors like variable speed control and mounting system, the way of how we will attach the spindle to the CNC. Those are also important, but with a little bit of work we can easily overcome those. Now we know what is important when choosing a CNC spindle, now let's take a look at some of them and talk about advantages and disadvantages of them. Let's start with the cheapest option and this is a 775 motor, it is used in a DIY T8 CNC machine and also my friend used this motor in his CNC and he's not complaining at all, but in my opinion this motor is too weak for a CNC. Maybe just for engraving it's fine, but milling with this thing is a pain. But it costs just $10, so keep that in mind. Second option is a Dremel. I have one on my DIY Dremel CNC. What a surprise! It works great for me so far, there is a knob on the top, you can control the speed, it's cheap, it's powerful, it's small, seems to be a perfect spindle for a CNC, for a DIY CNC, and unfortunately it's not. There are a few downsides, the first thing is mounting system, it's not easy to mount it to the CNC, I have this 3D printed mount right there, and I kind of like it, but it's not the best option and I would like to have it mounted right there a lot better. The second thing are the bits that you can use with a Dremel and you can use only bits with shank of 1 8 of an inch, which is small. So cutting bigger objects takes a lot of time and is not that efficient. This is a pretty big downside for me. And the last thing, this is what I read about Dremel on the internet, I'm not sure if this is true, but the bearings inside are probably not that good and after some time you have to replace them, but replacing them is super hard. So you most likely have to buy another Dremel. I didn't face this problem myself yet, Dremel works great for me so far, so I'm not sure if this is a true info, I still have to test this machine a little bit more, but just keep in mind that maybe the bearings inside the Dremel are not that great. Can we find something better than a Dremel? Yes, we can. When I was at my internship at Korg Institute of Technology, they had a really big CNC machine there and they used spindle made by Kress. It's basically just like a Dremel, a little bit bigger, more powerful and better quality. It's also easier to mount to the machine and you can use a lot of different bits and that's a really important thing. But the biggest downside is price. Unfortunately this is a really expensive spindle and compared to a Dremel it's super expensive. But there is even more expensive spindle and this is a 1.5 kW spindle that you can buy from almost any shop in China. And it is super powerful, you can machine even steel, I saw some people machining steel, of course you can machine aluminum and of course wood, but you know machining steel is something huge. But this spindle is very expensive, you have a dedicated controller that is also very expensive. But you can control precisely the RPMs of this motor and that's a cool feature. It's a perfect solution if you want to build a huge machine that's, you know, really professional. If you are a hobbyist, you know, Dremel or a Crest is perfect for you, but 1.5 kW, that's a lot of power. So this spindle is 10 times more powerful than a Dremel. It's really powerful. Let's take a look at this quite inexpensive wood router that may be a good solution for a DIY CNC machine. The most popular CNC machine among hobbyists is X-Carve or Shepoko. Both of them use wood router as a spindle, Makita or DeWalt. Those routers work with bits like, like this. Some people think that those routers are not the best for the DIY CNC, but I think that this router, especially Makita and DeWalt, they are a little bit more expensive, but this is probably the best thing you can get for the CNC that you are building yourself, especially if you want to machine wood. So let's first test it as a normal wood router.
800 watts is a lot of power, so wood isn't a problem for this router. But it gets a little hot, so a 3D printed mount for a CNC machine may not work here. How about mounting different tools to it? I bought some milling bits with shank of 6mm and here is the problem. All of those routers work only with one fourth of an inch milling bits. There is a lot of milling bits with shank of 6mm on Chinese online stores, but there is none with one fourth of inch. And there is no way to mount those bits to the router, so I can't even test how it works with milling bits. If you live in America, you probably can easily buy those bits in a shop, but here in Europe, we only use metric system and everything is millimeter based. How to overcome this? If you have a light, you can just machine something like this with smaller internal hole or create an adapter. Dear Ray Tool, if you watch this video, please add to your router 6mm cord, it will make things a lot easier for us. Thank you very much. That's not the end of searching for the best CNC spindle. This thing, this wood router, seems like a great option, but definitely has some downsides. I may be able to still find something better, and I have to buy some milling bits to test this machine better. So make sure to subscribe and don't miss those videos. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye.